Good morning, students. Welcome back to a course on syntax. Our topic today is sentence analysis using a tree diagram. In the previous meeting, you, you were introduced to a tree diagram as one of a diagram to visualize the analysis of a sentence. Now, um, let's find out how a tree diagram works in analyzing a sentence. As I told you in the previous meetings, the most important point that you have to consider before drawing a diagram or a tree diagram is you have to know the phrase structure rules. Okay, you have to know the phrase structure rules of each of the phrases which are involved in our sentence analysis. Okay, this is just to remind you about the PS rules and you can see here that noun phrase is composed of mainly a noun. And a noun can be accompanied by other elements, including determiner, adverb, adjective, and then prepositional phrase, and also complement phrase. And these elements can be replaced only by personal pronoun. So NP can be composed of only a personal pronoun. Now, we have to know that determiners in English are of five kinds, okay? The first one is article, you know, article uh, and, and the, and then the second one is demonstratives. Demonstratives include these and that, or these and those for plural. And we also have quantifier as one of the elements of determiner many, some, few, and so on. We also have here pro as, or we can say possessive pronoun. And the last one is possessive noun or possessive noun phrase. So these are the elements of determiners in English. The second one, the PS rules of FIPI include verb as the main element and the verb can be accompanied by noun phrase, prepositional phrase and adverb phrase. The other PS rule of verb phrase is that verb phrase can also be composed of linking verbs symbolized by VL, linking verb. And this linking verb can be followed by either noun phrase or adjective. Now, adjective phrase. The adjective phrase can be composed of only an adjective as the main element of adjective phrase. And then this adjective phrase can be accompanied by adverb of degree or prepositional phrase or complement phrase. The next one is adverb phrase. Adverb phrase can be composed of only an adverb, and the adverb can also be accompanied by other elements, including adverb of degree and complement phrase. And the last one is prepositional phrase. And you know, prepositional phrase can only be composed of preposition and noun phrase. After knowing these PS rules, it will be much easier for us to draw a tree diagram for any sentence that needs to be analyzed. Okay, now let's find out how these PS rules work in analyzing a sentence by using a tree diagram. Okay, I have two sentences. The first one is Risa bought a blue watch. And second one is he went to the market yesterday. And you can see here that the two sentences are different in terms of elements that compose the sentences. Okay, now let's analyze the first sentence. Risa bought a blue watch. Okay, now Risa bought a blue watch is composed of two elements. In other words, the sentence or symbolized by as is composed of two elements. The first one is NP, which is identical with a subject, okay? 
and bought a blue watch is the verb phrase. So the sentence is composed of NP and FIP. Okay. And then we analyze the element of NP. As you can see here, that the NP in the sentence is only Risa. So the NP is composed of only a noun. And then the VP is the rest of the sentence. So we have VP for bought a blue watch. So the label for this verb phrase includes verb plus noun phrase. Now we have here a blue watch, which is the noun phrase in this sentence. So we analyze the, a blue watch here as it is composed of three elements. The first one is determiner, the second one is adjective, and the last one is noun. Okay, as I told you before, that determiner here needs to be specified. And the determiner used in this sentence is an article. So we have here article. Okay, after we label all the elements of the sentence, and then we write the sentence. Okay, we write a sentence. The element of noun is Risa, and then verb is represented by pot, and then article here is represented by a, uh, and then the adjective here is blue, and the noun here is watch. So we have a three diagram for the sentence, Risa bought a blue watch. Okay, now we have a, a bit more complicated sentence. In the second sentence, he went to the market yesterday. Okay, in this sentence, we have two elements, okay? As usual, we have two elements, NP and VP, noun phrase and verb phrase. Now we have a different element in this second sentence from the first one. So the element of the NP here is not a noun, but he, and he here is labeled by personal pronoun or pro P. And then when to the market yesterday, which is the element of a verb phrase is composed of three elements, verb, prepositional phrase, and adverb phrase. Okay, now we can see that the prepositional phrase here is composed of preposition and noun phrase. And you know, this is the only PS rule for prepositional phrase. And the NP here is composed of determiner plus noun. And once again, we have to specify the element of determiner. And in this context, or in this sentence, the determiner is represented by the article. Now, the other element of VP is adverb phrase. And in this sentence, the adverb of phrase is represented by only an adverb, okay? After we label all of the elements and then we write the sentence or we write the words which constitute the sentence. So we have here, he for personal pronoun, and then when for the verb, and then to for the preposition, the for the article, market for the noun, and yesterday for the adverb. So we have analyzed the sentence he went to the market yesterday by using a tree tag. So you can see that that's not as difficult as you think. As long as you know the PS rules of each of the phrases, you can easily draw a diagram, okay? You can easily show the visualization of the sentence analysis. Okay. Now, we have the other example of sentence analysis by using a tree diagram. Once again, we have here two sets of sentences. The first one is our new classmate is friendly. And second one is the boy in a black jacket 
looks very smart. I choose these sentences in order to show you different sentences or different examples of using a tree diagram in analyzing sentences or analyzing a sentence. Okay, now let's see the first one. Our new classmate is friendly. You can see that the sentence is composed of NP and FIPI, okay? The same case with the previous examples. Now, uh, the NP here is composed of several elements because the subject in this sentence is our new classmates. So the NP in this sentence is composed of determiner, adjective, and noun. Okay. Determiner needs to be specified. And the determiner in this sentence is pro as or possessive pronoun. Okay, because we have here our. And then we have here the adjective. Okay, and we don't need to break it down because it has already been the smallest label for noon. Okay, now we come to the verb phrase. You can see that in the verb phrase, we use to be is, and you know that to be belongs to a linking verb. So is friendly or verb phrase is friendly is composed of linking verb and adjective. Okay, we have labeled all the elements of the sentence and then we write the sentence. So the sentence is, our new classmate is friendly. You can see that three diagram can visualize the analysis of a sentence very vividly. So everything is clear. All the sentence, all the words, which are the elements of a sentence have been labeled, okay? So our here is the uh, possessive pronoun, and then new here is the adjective, classmate is, an, is the noun, is here is the linking verb, and friendly here is the adjective. Okay, students, let's continue with the second sentence. The boy in a black jacket looks very smart. Okay, we have here a sentence, and as usual, we have here NP and FIP. However, the NP in this sentence is more complicated than the NP in the previous sentences or in the previous examples, okay? So NP here is composed of determiner plus noun and then plus prepositional phrase. And once again, we have to specify the determiner. And in this sentence, the determiner is the article because we have the here. And then we have here prepositional phrase. And you know that prepositional phrase must be composed of preposition and noun phrase. Okay, now let's see the, the elements of the, the NP. The elements of the NP in this sentence are determiner, adjective, and noun. And we once again need to specify the element of the determiner. What is it? The element is the article because the uh, uh, determiner in the sentence is the word er. Uh. Okay. Now we have here adjective and then we have here noun. We don't need to break them down because they are the smallest level for the elements of the noun phrase in this sentence. Okay, now let's come to the verb phrase. Verb phrase here is also composed of linking verbs, looks, and then we have here adjective phrase. Now, let's see the elements of the adjective phrase. You can see that the adjective phrase here is composed of two elements. The first one is adverb of degree, and the second one is adjective as the main element of the adjective phrase. Okay, we have finished 
labeling all the elements of a sentence, and then we write the sentence for this diagram. So we have here the for the article, boy for the noun, and then in a black jacket for the prepositional phrase. And then we have here looks for the linking verb. And the adverb of degree here is represented by the word very. And then the adjective here is smart. Okay. Even though the sentence is more complicated than the previous ones, once again, you can see that sentence analysis by using a tree diagram is not difficult as long as you know the PS rules for each of the phrases analyzed in the sentence. Okay. Now let's come to a more complicated sentence. And you see here that the example I demonstrate here as the sentence that uses coordinate conjunction, okay? Coordinate conjunction is symbolized by CJC, okay? Coordinate conjunction. Now, the sentence to analyze is, I live in Jakarta, but my parents live in Padang. Okay, the coordinate conjunction in this sentence is the word but. Now, how it works in the sentence or in analyzing that sentence by using a three type. Okay, we have sentence. Unlike the previous examples, in this sentence, we have three branches. Okay, we have three branches. Okay, what are the elements of those branches? You can see here we have sentence. So in the sentence, we have the other sentence. Okay, and we have here the other sentence. So we have two sentences. Okay, actually, uh, these sentences are called clauses. But in uh, by using a true diagram, we name them as a sentence. Okay, and these two sentences are connected by coordinate conjunction. And the coordinate conjunction here is bad. Okay. Um, once you have identified the elements of the sentence here, you can see that the rest of the analysis will be similar with the one we have in the previous sentences. So in the first sentence here, we have NPVP. And in the second sentence later, we also have the other NP and VP. Okay. Now, the first sentence in um, the NP and VP, in the first sentence are composed of, for the NP, the NP is composed of prepositional, uh, sorry, personal pronoun. So the NP is composed of personal pronoun because we have I here. And then the VP is composed of verb and prepositional phrase. Now, what, what is the element that needs to be further broken down? That is the prepositional phrase. And you can see that the prepositional phrase is composed of preposition and noun phrase because the noun phrase here is used to re represent Jakarta. So the element of NP here is only a noun. Okay. Now, let's see the second sentence. The elements of the second sentence are NP and FIP. Okay, similar with the first sentence in this uh, sentence or in this compound sentence, because in the previous meeting, I told you that when two clauses are connected by using coded conjunction, the result is a compound sentence. Okay, now, um, Let's see the elements of the noun phrase in the second sentence. They are determiner plus noun. Okay, we need to specify the determiner use in this sentence. What is it? That is possessive pronoun because we have here my and we have here noun. 
Okay. Now we need to break down or we need to find out the elements of the verb phrase. As you can see here, that the verb phrase in the second sentence is live in Padam. So we have here verb and prepositional phrase. Okay. As you know, that prepositional phrase must be composed of preposition plus noun phrase. And then the noun phrase in this context is only composed of a noun. Now you can see that we have labeled all the elements of the sentence and the rest of our work is only to put the, each of the words okay, on the labels that have been drawn. Okay, so we have here, I for personal pronoun in the first sentence. I can leave for the verb and then in for preposition and Jakarta for the noun. And in the second sentence, we have my parents live in Pada. Okay, so what makes this analysis a bit more complicated is to determine the first branch of the tree type. So you can see here that the tree diagram, uh, that the sentence here has three branches. Okay, sentence, coordinate conjunction, and sentence. Once you are able to identify these first branches, the rest of our work will be very easy because what we analyze here is just similar with analyzing a simple sentence, okay? And, you know, this is the example of using coordinate conjunction. I hope that you can understand how to draw a tree diagram in analyzing a sentence. And this is only part of, uh, part of learning or part of uh, uh, analyzing a sentence by using a tree diagram. Next week, we are going to uh, analyze a more complicated sentence. And we are going to have, of course, you know, a more complicated tree diagram. But at least for today, you have already known how to draw a tree diagram or how to analyze a sentence by using tree diagram. I have to remind you that the most important factor that determines the success in analyzing a sentence by using a tree diagram is PS rules phrase structure rules. In the next meeting, we are going to demonstrate how a tree diagram can be used to analyze a sentence that contains ambiguity. That's all for today. See you next week.